When I first started in the fitness industry nine years ago, like working in it, I, I, I wondered if I could like do the job because I wasn't, I just wasn't the type to get into people's faces and like yell and just, I, it wasn't me. My style has always been more like, I motivate you, I encourage you, I do it with you, and I'll never make you do something that I haven't done. And more importantly, I teach you. I've always wanted to help people get better. But one thing I've learned, it's not about tearing people down, it's about helping them improve. The goal is to help them become a better person, spirit, mind, and body. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know what? Went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them. From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is JC. I am wrong and strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, my familia, mi raza. I already know what time it is. Super tell us about one. Cause we about to get fit with Jesus. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Raw and Strong. All in your name, all in your glory. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did on the cross for me. Thank you. Hey, what's up guys? Discipline. Discipline with love. Teach with love. That approach gives the person the best opportunity to change their behavior. I thought I was disciplined until I met JC and I'm like, oh shit, I, I am not living like him. He really sets the goal. He really sets the bar up pretty fucking high and he doesn't, he doesn't lower it for anyone. And that's, and that's beautiful. JC, he's, he's the type of guy that's gonna make you feel like you, you're not doing enough. He's like, hey, catch up. Fit and he didn't, he didn't know me. He didn't know me from anybody, but he like saw who I was and knew that this is something that I needed to be doing and he couldn't be more right. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that he pushes um, me and everyone else around him to be their best self. Well, I, I was ready to brush him off, uh, quite frankly. I mean, I, I, <laughs> I needed somebody who, who, you know, was, was, was at least I thought knowledgeable of uh, sort of medical limitations, if you will, my limitations on walking, um, my, uh, my, my physical weaknesses. I needed somebody who was at least aware of that, have some knowledge of that, and uh, the impression I got was that, you know, it was, you uh, know, loco, you know, he was just a tough guy. I, I, sh I was sure he was the wrong guy. I was in a hurry to get better, and he was quite cautious that uh, I did not over work out in those first workouts but he had been online that he had been reading he had been he had been trying to figure out uh, what experts doctors other other physical therapists were saying about my condition and how it could improve and what the best methodology was when I realized he'd spent that much time uh, to work on me I, uh, you know, I became a true believer. I, I reached out for help. I, I just knew that if I didn't seek help that I was going to go right and, uh, and we just hit it off from there. You know, in, in this sport, it's very, uh, you know, money motivated and, um, you know, people just want your money and, and JC's not like that. JC sees potential in me and, and, um, and he really believes in people who have lived that lifestyle um, and have come to grips with it and changed their life. And, and that's what I love about JC. It's, it's uh, you know, he's not about money. You know, it's, it's more about, uh, you know, helping others.
you know, we spoke while we were working out, you know, I was telling him about my past experience in the Marine Corps and, you know, I was telling him about a situation I had with one of the police departments, and, you know, and I'm pretty sure they denied me because of PTSD. So that kind of brought me down. Just speaking with JC definitely like helped me out, you know, you know, kept me positive, positive and motivated. Jesus corrected by telling stories, he showed examples, and he pointed things out. He didn't just say wrong, right. He corrected people by getting them to think and teaching them. Through fitness, I've been blessed to serve, teach, and correct. You know, I started working out at about nine or 10, um, going to the YMCA with my dad and, and just, you know, I, I got to see the beginning of everything, the beginning of the vitamins, the fish oils, the creatine, the, the protein powder, everything. And going to the YMCA every day to help my dad get girls, <laughs> it was a blessing to me. Uh, I got to learn every day, every machine in there, how people worked out, every diet, every workout, how to rest. I read every book after book as a kid. I was. 12 years old and I was doing 500 push-ups every day. In order to help people more, I had to take my business online. But a lot of people don't understand the whole online thing. And I wanna explain it, because not only is it gonna save you time, money, but it's also convenient. It's on your phone. It's, it tells you to do everything you need to do. It's just like having me right there with you, pretty much, the whole nine yards. I started creating programs to help people to teach them how to eat, how to work out, how to rest. And, and more than anything, I was able to help more people at once because when I'm training in person, I can only help that person. I decided to go online to be able to help more people and just get more out there. I'm a big believer that God is in charge of our lives. I believe this because I've seen how God has directed my path even when I was not aware of it. Father, thank you for taking control of my life and placing me exactly where you want me to be. Help me to see your plan for my life and, and trust you most of all with the future. In Jesus' name, amen. My name is JC. I am wrong and strong. Hey, don't judge nobody. Stay in your lane. Live savage and remember, live for him.